Now, our next category for this evening is the award for the leading exporter in minerals, energy and related services and will be presented by Mr Demis King, General Manager Trade and Investment from the Minerals Council of Australia and the finalists. The finalists in the Minerals, Energy and Related Services category are Adexa, Australian Capital Territory Australian Ilmenite Resources, Northern Territory Duratray International, Victoria Imdex, Western Australia International Mill Relines, Queensland Microbiogen, New South Wales. Zong Engineering and Research Organisation, South Australia. And the winner of the Minerals Council of Australia Minerals, Energy and Related Services Award is Microbiogen Proprietary. <laughs> Now, Microbiogen was founded 18 years ago by Macquarie University science graduates Philip Bell and Paul Atfield, along with Phil's brother Jeff, a chief executive in a dream to change the way fuel is created. Today, Microbiogen's yeast now produce more than 15 billion litres of second generation bioethanol annually, enough to fuel over 5 million cars and over 35 times Australia's biofuel production capacity. Today, they supply a quarter of America's bioethanol products through exports of its yeast. Congratulations. Well done, Jeff. Thanks, David. Um, look, it's great to get this award. Um, look, the first people I have to thank is the science team. And in fact, driving down here from Sydney, um, I worked out that the scientists on average have been with Microbiogen for at least 12 years. So that's a long time. Probably feels like 20, but it's actually 12 years. Um, and now that I've got a captive audience, I can tell you a little bit about what we do, because most of you probably have no idea. We actually make organisms. And um, to give you an idea, sort of after 10 to 15 years of hard work by a science team of 15 people, about three years ago, they had developed and isolated this little bug that, of course, they're scientists, they called it William the Conqueror. Um, now, you could fit about 10,000 of these little guys onto the pin, the, the, the sharp end of a needle or a pin. So, a very, very small guy. About three years ago, we sent it to our friends in Copenhagen. A year later, they launched the product, and it's now producing biofuels. And to give you an idea of the scale, I know David sort of talked about it, but think of a 50,000-litre big backyard pool. Well, William the Conqueror and his kids will fill that pool with biofuels, but not just one backyard pool, but 1,500 backyard pools. He'll fill that with biofuels every day of the week. That's an awful lot of biofuels this little guy and his kids are producing. So I, I, I think you know, the real winners here are our science team. We are employing more people. We're going to double the size of the company. And we are certainly looking to new opportunities in other areas into the future. So look, thanks very much. Really appreciate it.